while breast cancer overwhelmingly affects women men also have breast tissues around in fact at a risk of developing breast cancer today Karim's clinic delves deeper in breast cancer in both women and men now breast cancer can develop in both gender however it is more common in females than in males there are indeed differences and similarities in the risk factors in both gender that we are going to look at so we need to be keen and also we are also going we are going to look at a few statistics now breast cancer in females and even males is more common in whites than blacks i would just compare the two and also it is common in females than males however in as much as it is common in whites than blacks blacks die of breast cancer more than the whites more whites suffer the disease fewer fewer blacks do you know relatively compared to the whites but again more deaths are recorded among the blacks than the whites now why do or rather why does breast cancer affect more females than males that is one thing that we really need to note in fact a lot of people never knew that uh, breast cancer is also in men because men accounts for 1% of all the breast cancer cases now when kids are growing when children are growing before puberty their breasts usually are alike in both men and women the sizes almost the same the the anatomical structures almost the same breast has got two things that we need to note there is what we call the milk duct and what we call the lobules the lobules are the glands where milk is produced while the ducts or the milk ducts are the pipes or the tubes that milk follows when it is coming towards the nipple so these things are hold are held by some connective tissues that are fibrous in nature at puberty the difference becomes visible men because men do not produce estrogen there are hormones called estrogen in females more than men if those are men produce estrogen in females estrogen is a lot so what happens is the lobules develop more so that the milk ducts i mean the milk glands produce milk at that um age onwards but for the males there are lobules yes but they are not as many as those ones of uh, females males also produce milk at a time though the number is lower so if estrogen levels are higher then milk will be produced because the lobules will be matured they will increase in number and they will develop to maturity but those ones of men do not develop to maturity except a few what are the risk factors who is at risk of developing breast cancer in men and i begin with with males now in males If you are suffering from a condition known as Klinefelter's syndrome then you are at a risk. Let me just explain a little bit about Klinefelter's syndrome. Now Klinefelter's syndrome is a rare genetic condition in men. Usually the men genetic makeup 
has got XY chromosome, the X and the Y chromosome. So every man is tagged XY and every woman is tagged XX. When a rare condition comes up so that the man now has three different chromosomes, that is X, Y, and an extra X. And we know that when you have two Xs, then there are female characters in that. So the X chromosome means that this man, that, that is the condition called Klinefelter syndrome, this man will now have estrogen. And when they develop estrogen, then of course, the testis, the part, the male part that is the testis, becomes underdeveloped. Why? Because there are more female characteristics in this man than male characteristics. Because they have X, Y, X, or X, X, Y, two Xs and one Y. So such a person will always suffer um, um, breast cancer. Generally, more of such people stand a high risk. Number two, genetic mutations can also lead to breast cancer in males. Now, mutation is the spontaneous, sudden change of genetic makeup within the man. Okay, mutation is a general term, but because we are now narrowing everything to the man here and the breast cancer, I'm, go, I'm saying it when this happens to the man, then of course, um, uh, breast cancer can always develop. So it shouldn't be ignored. Why? Because a lot of men in this era are suffering breast cancer. 1%, you can imagine 1% of... Uh, the world population suffering this breast cancer are men. That is a very large number. Then we also have the testicular conditions where we are speaking about undescended testicles. You know, there are people who are given birth unto with the one testis. One testis is within the scrotum and the other is up under your belly, under the belly. It happens. So when the testes gets lost or both of them get lost within under your belly, then you are at high risk of suffering breast cancer. That is what we call undescended testicles. There are people also who when they when you remove the surgical when you surgically remove the testicles, probably because of a problem, then you risk developing breast cancer and that is in men in females number one and this is very very common please always make sure for those people who see their menstrual cycles or who observe the menses before the age of 12 usually they risk suffering um, from breast cancer. I mean, it is not that they like it and there is no way you are going to stop the menses when they come earlier. Yeah? So when the child gets their menses at nine, as a mother to the child, you, it needs to stick in your brain that this child could, chances are, that they could suffer or develop breast cancer in future so it's always good to do screening for the child and of course when they grow older past puberty or uh, um, during puberty discuss such with them tell them they experience their menses earlier and people who do that sometimes develop breast cancer and you will always go for checkup the good thing with breast cancer or any other cancer is if you are diagnosed early enough, then it's treatable, it's curable. So that is one thing. Women who begin their menopause after 55 also stand a risk. Because Normally at 45 towards 50, women have already experienced menopause or they're just um, on setting. 
past 55 that is a little bit later and the risk factors become even more we have also women who do not give birth at all you know when you don't give birth at all then you risk suffering from this cancer the shared risks in both males and females is you know when you have a history of breast cancer be prepared i don't mean be prepared to suffer but chances are you could because it is a risk factor so always go for early screening always do do the screening you know sometimes it's always good to do the screening females who are over 60 or 55 do screens screening frequently also smoking if you are smoking if you are overweight breast cancer becomes closer to you or rather moves closer to you got and got if you have had a previous cancer case not only breast previous breast cancer case any other cancer case then the breast cancer could always come up if you are physically inactive now those people who stay in um, flats don't do the lifts can you just do the stairs if you are going to the shops don't use a car just walk make sure you are physically active make sure um, your muscles are active alcohol consumption is also another factor so don't consume alcohol aimlessly do it with a reason of course i don't see the reason why you you must have um, alcohol you must drink alcohol but do it sparingly if you are supposed to do it what are the symptoms now the symptoms of uh, this is generally in both men and women it always begins in one breast now where does it happen where what are the symptoms of that one breast what, what are the noticeable differences now it will appear under the nipple or just round the nipple if you touch the area it will feel bumpy and then it begins to grow with the time so you need to give it a little bit of time to observe whether it grows and and as it grows it really feels hard so as time progresses then the growth becomes um uh, bigger and you could see discharge from the nipple so the moment you just realize there is a discharge from the nipple either water milk a pass whichever discharge don't assume and then i'm um, don't ignore i mean and then um you look at the breast you find it is dimplish you know it's dimpling and um it looks like i mean it, it doesn't look as usual you know if the breast is yours you can easily tell this breast has dimples that are ne- that were never there before it looks different and you can always realize a rash you know some pimples so to speak a rash and uh, each skin around the nipple so when you realize all this and you realize um, um that your nipple is your nipple is itchy you want to scratch it again and again and then it begins to turn inwards you know the nipple is pointed towards the out body direction but if it begins to point inwards then that means that could mean that you are suffering from breast cancer so how do we then treat breast cancer 
if you go for early diagnosis um it it can be treated using chemotherapy radiation therapy hormone therapy or a combination of these but it is deadly when you don't um uh, discover it earlier maybe at stage 4 that will be detrimental remember at stage 4 it has even spread to other organs of the body and uh, treating that will be very difficult always try to prevent this by examining your breasts almost all the time at all angles i mean from all angles if you get into a mirror you maybe you have the the wall mirror raise your arm up so that you examine the whole breast and realize changes every day examine it if you realize there is any discharge and the discharges the discharge needs to come with um, the symptoms that I've just talked about because there are some females who see discharge without any problem they yeah, may be due to hormonal imbalances um uh, and such like stuff so make sure you take good care of yourself and always make a health practitioner a friend or a health care center a friend so that in case of anything you get help so breast cancer can develop in anyone that is my time with us today if you find this information useful kindly consider to give us a subscription thanks for listening